Camp is my favorite time of year. It's seriously better than Christmas for me. It's just a week to get away from it all, have a ton of fun, and get closer to God all at the same time. Now I've gone to church camp just about every single year of my life as a kids camper, a teen camper, as a counselor, and for the next two weeks, I'm gonna be the video guy at an Illinois teen camp. Now camp is often called the greatest week of your life. And since I have more than 15 years worth of experience at church camp, I'm gonna be giving you guys my top three tips to having the greatest week of your life. Tip number one, have fun, but don't let it turn stupid. Weirdness is allowed more at camp than it is in everyday society. There's just so much room to be as goofy and as silly as you wanna be during this week. But due to lack of sleep and increased peer pressure, it's really easy for fun to turn stupid. Sometimes fun turning stupid looks like climbing on top of a building and seeing if you can survive jumping off of it. Sometimes fun turning stupid looks like scaring a room of middle schoolers pretending to be demon possessed. I'm not gonna tell that story right now, just listen to my podcast, I explain it there. Let's just say I'm an expert at letting fun turn stupid. So how can you tell when fun's about to turn stupid? Here's a general guideline. Anytime your fun puts you or somebody else at an increased risk of getting hurt, that's when fun is turning stupid. Look, I don't wanna be a party pooper, I don't wanna ruin your fun, but please, please, please put a mental ceiling on yourself as like, okay, this is the amount of fun I'm gonna have before it turns stupid. Just put that roadblock in your mind before you even get there. I don't want any of you to cross that line because I don't want you to end up in prison or a hospital. That's basically what it comes down to. Tip number two, be fully engaged during the evening services. After a long day of playing in the sun, every single day of camp ends with a time of worship and a guest speaker. These services are designed to give everybody who's attending camp an opportunity to connect with God. But unfortunately, it's so easy to miss out on all this because you're being distracted. You're being distracted by the person sitting next to you. You're getting distracted by your phone by your lack of sleep, by your hunger. There's so many different factors that can prevent you from receiving what all God has in store for you during this week of camp. Do whatever you gotta do to keep yourself from getting distracted. Maybe you need to leave your phone in your room. Maybe you need to sit by a different group of people. Maybe you need to actually sleep when you're supposed to so you're not falling asleep during service. Whatever it is you gotta do, remove those distractions so you can be fully engaged during the services and take in all that God has for you. Tip number three, take camp home with you. What happens at camp is not supposed to stay at camp. It's literally the opposite of Las Vegas in many ways. But way too often people come to camp, they have this emotional experience, they make all these promises to God and say, I'm gonna go do X, Y, and Z, and then they come home and a day or two later, it's like none of that ever happened. All the fun you have at camp, the relationships you build, the connection you had with God, you can bring all that home with you. It's easier at camp because there's a set aside time for these things and you're away from it all. But if you're intentional about it, you can have the camp experience at home. Those friendships you built, keep them going. Hang out with those people, build deeper relationships with them. That connection with God that you had at camp, you can keep that up every day of your life. If you set aside time to spend with God, you can either be loud or quiet. As long as you're worshiping him in spirit and truth, I don't care, but make that time with God happen. That doesn't have to stay at camp. You can bring it home. Camp is special, I love it, and I fully intend on making it a regular part of my life until the day I die. But if we cause hurt with our fun, if we miss out on what God has for us during the services, and if we leave the camp experience at camp and we don't bring it home with us, then we completely miss the point. So I encourage you guys, take these tips to heart and you'll have the greatest week of your life. But those are just my three tips. If you have any tips for having the greatest week of your life, leave them in the comments below. Or even better, if you have any inspiring or funny camp stories, I would love to hear those as well. Anyway, that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.